In the previous lesson, we examine a few methods for editing an existing SolidWorks part. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at another method for editing a part. This method allows you to dynamically edit the part on the screen. And this is done with the command called Instant 3D. But before we activate the Instant 3D command, if you would like to work along with me, go into your Work in Files folder and open the part file named Wedge. So let's begin. I am going to activate Instant 3D and then select a feature on the part. So I'm going to select this top face. As soon as I select the top face, notice dimensions appear. And if you recall, black dimensions are sketch dimensions and blue dimensions are feature dimensions. You may have noticed that we have these blue dots on the dimensions. These are referred to as handles, and this is part of the instant 3D command. We also have a green arrow on the face that I selected. Now if I hold down the left mouse button and move the cursor up and down, I can change the height of that feature. If I move the cursor above the scale, and I keep the cursor above the longer lines of the scale, I can change the height of that feature by a value of 0.1. However, if I move the cursor above the shorter lines of the scale, I can increment the height by a value of 0.05. Or I can simply move the cursor off the scale and not be locked into any value or increment. Notice this height dimension over here is for the height of the same feature. So if I grab this handle here, I can change the height of the same feature. We also have these handles on other dimensions with the same capabilities. Now if you are freeform designing a part, which means you are working on a new design and you're not completely locked into any specific dimensions, and you're simply working on the part trying to get the shape and feel of the part, the Instant 3D is very handy. Notice how nice it is for angular features. This also works well with a hole feature. Notice I can change the location of the feature. I can select the handle for the hole size. So in closing, I think you will find Instant 3D very useful. However, one thing you should be aware of, when you are done editing the part, it's always a good idea to turn off Instant 3D. That way, you do not mistakenly select a feature and then bump one of the handles, changing the size of the feature.